So the Minnesota Fighting Vikings are absolutely loading up in the middle of their defense. And, hey, the Danker, Kershaw Wilkins, whatever. Jonathan Grenard, stud. Andrew Van Ginkle, stud. And also... Blake Cashman outside. How about that? He is back. He, he, he is back in the great state of Minnesota. Uh, Tom Pelissero, homecoming. The Vikings are signing Minnesota native and linebacker Blake Cashman to a three-year deal worth up to $25.5 million. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A big deal for uh, Cashman, who grew up in Eden Prairie, played for the Gophers, and is now a Viking. Now, we, we, didn't, we didn't have Cashman on our radar because it seemed like all signs pointed to uh, him and the Texans running it back. He was a, a major player uh, in the Miko Ryan's defense this season, and I thought I thought it was over. But the Vikings bring in uh, the second former Texan, Jonathan Gennard, was the one one, and I'm really fired up about this one. I, I'm really excited uh, about Cashman back uh, in, in Minnesota, but because of course uh, played his high school ball at Eden Prairie, was a walk on of the U, uh, turned himself into a, a captain, team leader, one of the all time great Gopher linebackers. Uh, so let's talk about him today. Uh, background: 27 years young, six foot one, two thirty seven, uh, was a fifth round pick. Uh, 2019 uh, by the Jets, and I uh, spent three years in New York, was mainly a backup and special teams guy, uh, trotted over to the Texans in 2022 about the same thing, but D'Amico Ryans came in 2023, Cashman won the starting Mike Linebacker job, and that was it. That was a wrap, man. 106 tackles uh, led the team. Also two sacks, five passes broken up, an 81.1 PFF grade, which was sixth best among inside linebackers this season. And he was really damn good. And uh, uh, again, I'm still a little bit flabbergasted because wasn't even on the radar in terms of like the insiders talking about uh, maybe a Cashman reunion because it seemed like the Texans loved him that much. But We'll certainly take it, man. A a absolutely. And uh, Cashman is a bit of a throwback. He is a true tackling machine. Uh, he is a true blue 3 4 uh, Mike linebacker. And I, I feel like every time I watch him, uh, because uh, I remember watching him with the Gophers where it was a ton of fun. He would just rack up these insane tackle numbers. Like he was he was Scott Studwell out there, uh, modern day Scott Studwell. And He's even gotten better in the NFL. He's added very good size, uh, notably uh, uh, with the Texans last year. He is still that heart and hustle, uh, fringe of the roster, trying to make the team mentality, chip on a shoulder, uh, plays downhill and run fields, uh, solid in coverage, uh, team leader. Uh, he sets the tone as well. And also, th that's something that you noticed uh, about uh, so Jonathan Grenard of the Texans, Andrew Van Ginkle of the Dolphins, uh, Cashman from the Texans. These guys are all heart and hustle uh, tough as a two dollar steak type players, and I love it. I I, I love it, man. Plus, well, what's great is that cat. So Cashman's probably going to be calling the plays and wearing the green dot, which Ivan Pace Jr. was doing last year. But with the pace and, and with Cashman in the middle, uh, just scraping and absorbing all those tackles and really uh, holding things down in the middle of the defense. That could free up Pace Jr. to do some very creative things, uh, notably blitzing. And we said, I mean, Pace Jr. has the ability to be that heat-seeking missile, not only from the edge, but just any single gap along the offensive line where I think the Flores is going to basically turn him into a diet version of Micah Parsons. <sighs> man, 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 man. Because and this linebacking core is going to feed families. So you got Grenard, you got Van Ginkle. Um, so Va Van Ginkle... Uh, What's a Van Grinkle there? Hmm. Uh, anyways, Rip, Rip Van Ginkle. Uh, so Van Ginkle can basically also play off ball uh, as well. Uh, so this is going to be a, a great blitzing. This is going to be a great attacking uh, mix of linebackers. And you saw the shift last year where you saw Werner and Greenlaw with the Niners. You saw Queen and Roquan with the Ravens. Uh, you saw the, the off balls with the Chiefs too. It's like the off ball linebacker, uh, linebacker core is back. I mean, it, it's a thing yet again, being solid in that middle of the defense where not only can you be sure tacklers, not only can you cover, uh, but you can also rush the passer. And uh, Pace Jr. and Cashman are going to be a fantastic dynamic duo. Now, this probably means uh, that Jordan Hicks, who played extremely well last year, probably ain't going to be back. Yeah, it, it is what it is. But uh, again, this was a fantastic signing and one I didn't necessarily see coming. Uh, plus, it's a premium contract for Cashman. Uh, glad that he's becoming cash man i don't know it, it works out but uh you know sometimes uh these homecoming stories don't always have a happy ending but i feel like this one is going to be great i feel like he's going to be a team captain very shortly if not this year and i mean heart hustle leadership toughness uh in the middle of that defense i mean baby 
Flores and company got Stu going. Quasi is on one today. I love it. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings bring linebacker Blake Cashman back home. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.